All right. Good morning, Columbus. I am Co Columbus City Council Member Emmanuel Remy, and I am very excited to be here today. Today is a great day for the residents of Columbus, the City of Columbus, and the uh, Columbus Police Department. I'm excited to be here with you this morning to introduce the release of the Columbus Police Mobile App. Before we get started, though, I'd like to recognize my colleague, uh, Council Member Mitch Brown, the, the Chair of P Public Safety, and we're excited to have worked together uh, to bring this, this uh, to fru fruition. We also have some uh, great people in the room. Um, to my left, I have Jameson Johnson, the Vice President of Business Development for Mobile PD, along with Patrick McLean, who was uh, instrumental in putting the deal together. Um, to my right, we have Interim Chief um, Tom Quinlan, and so uh, we have a lot of uh, great people in attendance today, and so we're excited to uh, get this thing rolled out. Um, the Columbus Police mobile app will serve as an additional tool to increase community engagement. One thing we always strive for is transparency and accessibility to resources available from the City of Columbus especially resources made available by the Columbus Division of Police. The Columbus Police app has a number of capabilities and resources, but what I'm most excited about is the ability to submit tips, either anonymously or with your information. You'll also be able to file police reports with the app and download incident, accident reports. You'll be able to access all of the public media pages all while in the app so even if you don't have an account with facebook or twitter you'll be able to go directly to columbus police's social media applications so that you can see exactly what's being communicated this is a app this app will allow for push notifications to um, certain areas if there was a major tra traffic accident we could push out notifications to all the people within the surrounding radius uh, like we can the police will be able to draw on a map a one mile radius and say be aware there's a traffic accident uh, we're most excited to uh, kick this off with red white and boom coming up next week we'll be able to take we ask people to download the app so that they can have access to um, information as over a half million people gather downtown in the city of Columbus. One thing that you know we've been investing investing in is um, technology within the police department and this is a critical piece of that that engagement and with ShotSpotter which we introduced last year um, we have been able to in certain key neighborhoods get um, real-time information and in, down to inches where uh, gunshots fired. With this app, for those that have downloaded the app, um, if there was a shot that was detected at 100 Main Street, for instance, and the police could actually uh, send, put a, a notice out to within a mile radius to say, um, shots been detected in 100 block of Main Street, please shelter in place. And so we really are excited about all the capabilities that this, this application is gonna have. Now I'd like to introduce the acting Columbus Chief of Police, Tom Quinlan, so he can tell you a little bit more about how Columbus Police App will serve the division of a police. Thank Chief. you. Thank you, Councilman Remy. I appreciate everyone uh, being here today for this uh, launch. This is really uh, one of my priorities as the interim police chief is community engagement and transparency. Couple with that, we really want to focus on getting uh, safety information to the public. So we can interact with the public directly. Right now, uh, we have been had a great partnership with our, our media, as, as you see here uh, today. Uh, but we have to rely on other people to push out our messages sometimes. This allows us to have a single source of information where everything's in, contained in one spot problem I had not identified was we have to go to web pages or search different uh, applications search different uh, sites across Twitter Facebook our Columbus Police uh, internet site our recruiting web page and it caused people to have to actually go out and search information of interest to them this mobile app was designed to put everything in one place all in the smartphone 
which everyone has at their fingertips. That's that's the value of this. You don't have to wait till you get home to look up on a computer or try to get onto a laptop. You have the computer in your hand at all times, a smartphone. This puts all the applications there. All the uh, social media sites are all down one side and you can go in between each one of the applications. Even if you do not personally have an account yourself, it'll bring up our site allow you to interact with the uh, material and the uh, uh, notifications we put out and go right back to the app without having to switch between uh, different internet sites. The alert notifications is a big importance to me. Push notifications allows us to send out information in real time as fast as we can get accurate information out. That allows for a better safety, uh, more informed public, and of course improve transparency of what we are doing at any given time. So we can send out notifications and, and give instructions, respond to people who are sending us information. Uh, the, one of the nice things about this app is someone has a, a tip, they can not only take send us information, they can give us the exact location. If they may be a visitor from, from uh, out of city or out of state, they may not know exactly where they're at. They can push the location button. It'll tell us exactly where they are. They can send us a photograph of what they're seeing. And then we have information in real time to, to work with and respond with officers. So it does not take the place of the 911. We wanna make sure that's clear to the public that you still need to call 911 for immediate uh, ongoing emergencies. But this app allows you to really engage with the police in a constructive manner. And that's the transparency piece is very important to me. And so uh, Jameson's here from Mobile PD. We uh, approached this originally with uh, Councilman Remy. I approached him over a recruiting issue. The recruiting issue was we had a lot of no-shows when we would get application. We get about 2,500 people apply for a test and only about 1,500 show up. So how do we increase the response rate for people coming? So we decided that push notifications, everyone has their cell phone in their hand. We can send them notifications in real time, say, reminder, your test is tomorrow. Uh, your physical is next week. We can send those notifications out. So we found a way to kind of minimize the no-show rate. And so I talked to Council Member Remy, and from the very first conversation, he was on board with it and wanted to uh, fund this uh, project. So uh, we had a, a instant stakeholder there with city council. So my thanks to city council. Uh, we searched for all the different vendors we could find that provided such an app, and we found uh, the right vendor for Columbus. Uh, Mobile PD has been a, an incredible partner for us out of Austin, Texas. They are here today to show you the app and give you a little bit of uh, feedback on some of the uses that, that you will find very valuable uh, in this app. And with that, I'd like to introduce Jameson. Thank you very much, Chief Quinlan, and thank you very much, uh, Councilmember Remy, for having us uh, in Columbus with great hospitality. We really appreciate it. Um, as, as Chief Quinlan mentioned, uh, my name is Jameson Johnson. I'm a vice president at Mobile PD. Uh, we are a software company out of Austin, Texas, with a focus on uh, enhancing public safety and specifically community engagement uh, with customers across the country. So we've actually been in business nearly 10 years now, um, and now Columbus Police um, is added to the list of agencies like you know, Albuquerque Police Department, Austin, Texas, uh, Baltimore, or Chattanooga that has this type of citizen engagement technology. So this is something that we're really excited about to bring to the city of Columbus. And we're more than anything, we're excited to see the results. Um, time after time, we see uh, anonymous crime tips that result in you know, major arrests, reduction in crime, uh, helping find missing children, for example. So this is something that that um, we're very excited to, to see what the outcome is. Uh, I wanna do a quick demonstration of the application. Um, you can see here I have uh, the home screen open here. And like Chief Quinlan said, this application is the one-stop shop for Columbus Police public safety information, citizen-facing information. If a, if a citizen has a question, this app should certainly have the answer when it comes to um, you know, everyday information that, that someone might want to know about, whether it's accessing recent uh, public safety alerts, uh, viewing crime in your neighborhood, being able to actually submit a uh, file an actual online report uh, in real time. So this application, I'm on the home screen here, you can see there's actually a couple pages, so when a user opens this up, 
uh, they can scroll left and right. The very first thing a user will most likely um, see is a notification that says, would you like to accept push notification alerts, yes or no? And that's how simple this application is to opt in to receive these alerts. We do not require any user information. In fact, we don't even collect any user information. So the only thing someone needs to do is say, yes, I want to receive push notification alerts. If I go into the alert app here, just one second. So you can see the first alert just went out. Welcome to the Columbus Police app. And this is the type of alert that citizens should expect when they have this application. It could be traffic, it could be a missing person, it could be shots fired. Um, there's a lot of different capabilities here that will be built in. A citizen will also have access to all the different social media platforms. So on the right hand side here, you can see Twitter, you can see Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Nextdoor. Uh, on the second page, we also have the Ring Neighbors application. If I wanted to submit a tip, I could come in here and I could choose. There's different categories of, of crime tips that I can submit. One thing I want to mention is on the bottom, you'll see a big button that says connect with 911. This application is not for reporting in progress crimes or emergencies that require immediate police response. If I was to tap this, it will give me the option to leave the application and immediately call 911. Let's just say I want to submit a tip. So you can see. I can enter you know, any sort of text information here. I could add a photo. It pulls my live GPS location. It knows we're in headquarters right now. That is completely optional. You can also see I've, I've added some, obviously, fake information. John Doe is submitting this tip here. Um, but what you'll notice is that on the right-hand side, there's a button that says anonymous. If I tap that anonymous button, I am truly 100% anonymous. And that is something that Mobile PD for the last 10 years has been focused on, is how do we have the balance of focusing on user privacy um, and security from that perspective. So if someone chooses to be anonymous, we will not know who they are. Uh, but one of the benefits of this application is if I submit this tip, I can actually still chat back and forth with someone from Columbus Police in an anonymous fashion. So specifically for a victim of a crime or a witness of a crime that is hesitant to come forward, they can certainly do so with this application. I can also access you know, police substations, for example. So if I want to report a crime and actually go speak with someone in, in person. It's going to pull up the map here. It's going to show me all the different substations. I can actually see my current you know, GPS. I can go right down and what do you know what? I'm actually in headquarters right now. <laughs> There's also a recruiting capability. So as Chief Quinlan mentioned, this application will allow potential recruits to have access to all sorts of different information, whether it's the qualifications, the standards, salary information, uh, benefits, the ability to actually you know, apply right on a website. So all this information, again, is in a one-stop shop for all the public, regardless if it's, um, you know, an, an everyday citizen or a potential recruit as well. And finally, we can file an actual offense report. So if there is a, an, an issue, perhaps, uh, you know, your, your car gets broken into and it's a, a, a value of less than $3,000 that's stolen, for example, I can actually go right in here and I can actually submit that report. And what will occur is I can actually file that report without, or, without ever having to have a police officer come to my house. So again, just to wrap up, we're really excited to be here. We're, we're very excited to launch this application and see the success. Um, and the use cases is coming as early as next week for Red, White, and Boom. So thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Jameson and Mobile PD. It's an uh, excellent overview of exactly what the capabilities are. And now that you've seen what the app can do, you can see why we're excited to be able to provide this to the community. Whether you are living in our city or maybe have relatives here and live outside the city, you can still have access to information, news, real-time information that's going on in our city. So I think that's very valuable. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Sergeant Dana Hess and Acting Deputy Chief Knight. There's no way uh, to get a project to this level done without uh, staff that can handle all the day-to-day -day interactions with uh, our vendor. So thank you to them. The um, spirit of cooperation and partnership, if you noticed on the second page, we also have a fire recruiting app. Just so you know, uh, we're really uh, dedicated to uh, broadening our recruiting base. So whether it's police, which is certainly what this is geared towards, or the fire department, anyone interested in public service 
has a opportunity to go to either police recruiting or fire recruiting and get information that may be of interest. So we're interested in, in having you uh, join us and our application period is actually opening up July 1st to July 31st for the police. So we welcome people to download our app and go to our site on recruiting and consider your employment opportunities here. With that said, again, I'll turn it back to Council Member Remy and thank him for his uh, leadership on this. Thank you very much, Chief. Um, thank you, Jameson. Um, I hope everyone is as excited about the Columbus Mo Police mobile app as I am and ask everybody to go to the uh, Apple um, App Store or the Google Play Store today, right now, and download this, uh, this important app. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank all the people and the many talents who work diligently to ensure we provide this resource to the community. Um, certainly want to thank, again, Chief Quinlan, Sergeant Dana Hess, who did so much of this work, Acting, Acting Deputy Chief um, Jennifer Knight, Shantae Boxill, uh, Kevin Neff from Mayor Ginther's office, Kimber Perfect, and Robin Davis from CTV, Josie Smith, from Council's Communications Office, Lee Cole and David uh, Miller, as well as Jamison Johnson and Patrick McLean from Mobile PD, and of course, my tremendous staff, Lucy Frank and Jeff Carter. Uh, thank you to uh, the, the safety chair, uh, council, my colleague, council member um, Mitch Brown. I, uh, on behalf of Columbus City Council, the city of Columbus, um, I thank all of you for being here today and we're excited to see um, everyone go to the Columbus, search for the Columbus Police mobile app, now available at the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Thank you very much and have a wonderful rest of your day.